once named Smithsonian Magazine's best small town in America, Great Barrington, Massachusetts is about a two hour drive west of Boston, a classic New England town attracting tourists and second homeowners alike. So we wanted to know what makes the town of Great Barrington so great? It's the perfect combination of Norman Rockwell, New England meets Brooklyn hipster. This Berkshire's town is also the birthplace of writer and activist W.E.B. Du Bois. Take a self-guided tour highlighting his journey from Great Barrington to the world stage. But the star attraction for many this time of year is Ski Butternut, especially this year as people are looking to engage in more outdoor activities. We're seeing a lot of first-timers, a lot of beginners coming out. And we're also seeing a lot of people weekdays um, when they weren't previously available with work and school. And with $25 midweek tickets, can you blame them? Ski Butternut is a family-operated ski resort that's been around since the 1960s with 22 trails, 10 ski lifts, and two terrain parks. We have trails of all difficulty. We have a large ski school. We service all sorts of people with mental or physical disabilities. We have programs for young kids, beginners, all the way up through expert and advanced levels. Okay, so if skiing isn't your thing, but you want to participate in the fun and enjoy the beauty of the mountain, there is another option here at Butternut. Tubing, anyone? Woo -hoo! <laughs> okay, now I'm inspired, now I'm ready. Skiing has a learning curve, tubing has no learning curve. You can hop right on a tube, slide down a hill, it's wide open for families of all ages, and it's fairly easy, but really fun thing to do. Woo! <laughs> for Apre Tube, we head downtown and warm up with a Parisian mocha latte at Patisserie Lennox. Delicious. Husband-wife team Jean-Yves and Yulia Bouguan are behind this French pastry shop and cafe. Yulia creates the breakfast and lunch dishes, while Jean-Yves oversees the pastries and artisanal desserts, including fan favorite macarons. They fly out. Yes, he no, makes he thousands make of them. <laughs> A trained pastry chef from Paris, Jean-Yves refined his skills in New York, opened multiple bakeries on Long Island, and has satisfied the palates of many noteworthy customers throughout his 50-year career. King of Morocco, Ralph Lauren, Julia Child. The couple left New York for a quieter life in the Berkshires, and in 2011 opened Patisserie Lennox and Lennox hence the name, Great Barrington, Hudson, New York, and Northampton followed. Every two years we open a new one. <laughs> that just kind of happened. No, but we are, we're, we're done. <laughs> no more. Across the street, a mainstay for 31 years, TP Saddle Blanket and Trading Company, owner Jack Polizzi. TP was my wife's initials, Natasha Polizzi and she is the inspiration of everything that you see here. Unfortunately, she lost her battle with cancer three and a half years ago. My wife spent 10 years as a designer for Ralph Lauren and became head of women's design, and we decided that we would really try to make a go of it in the Berkshires living in our country house. They opened a shop on Main Street selling merchandise with a southwestern flair. Over the years, the business grew into a manufacturing company. Most of the things that you see here are products that we make. And even though we're a retail store, the bulk of our business basically is making this product and selling it throughout the country and even in Europe. Finally, we rest our heads at the Granville House. Opened in July 2020, this new B&B is a dream come true. 20 years in the making for Terry with an I and Terry with a Y, Coglin. So it actually came about on our very first date. We were both worked at a restaurant in New York called Gramercy Tavern. I said, what's your dream in life? She said, one day I want to run a bed and breakfast. And I blurted out, oh my gosh, so do I, even though I had never given that a consideration. Uh, but I knew I was madly in love. Fast forward to 2019, two kids later, and tired of putting their dream on hold, the Coglins left New York, moved to the Berkshires, and bought this 5,300 square foot B&B. 
it's been great, actually. I think that there's just enough space that people can get away, but there's not so many people around that you feel quite comfortable. Expansive grounds, a pool table, books, games, and a music room with a record player and plenty of vinyl. The Granville House name, a nod to the movie It's a Wonderful Life. And that translates here, even down to the muffins. Terry Coughlin, that's the Terry with a Y, says he used to commute to work by train, three hours round trip. Now he just walks down a flight of stairs, not bad. And you heard Shana ask, what's so great about Great Barrington? Well, apparently Vogue had the same question. The fashion magazine recently featured the community and the Granville House, calling Great Barrington quietly cool. Coming up, Neshoba Valley and the rest of Westford.